it's an exciting time in European financial services M&A. As we predicted at the start of the year, there are a number of very hot areas for transactional activity. Um, at one end of the spectrum, we've seen speculation about mega bank mergers, which may be a little bit uh, ambitious and premature. However, there are real deals going on. There's real interest in uh, banking assets, both for consolidation amongst financial institutions and also financial sponsors. For some time, they've been active in buying non-performing loan portfolios and doing very well out of that, and that continues very strongly. They're also increasingly interested in distressed banking businesses, looking to restructure them and, and take advantage of the cycle turning in due course uh, and the opportunities for consolidation. Um, another area that they're very interested in is payments, payment systems, payment infrastructure. That's been very hot both with sponsors but also with financial institutions themselves and we think that will continue. Um, we're also seeing the consolidation in asset management that we predicted. That really has landed after many years of, of, of it being predicted. It's now happening and will continue to happen. Uh, another area of, of real activity is uh, technology, uh, fintech, uh, regtech and related acquisitions. As banks have, have completed much of their restructuring driven by regulatory requirements, uh, especially in the UK but elsewhere as well, and MIFID II implementation across Europe, which has been a massive task for them, um, they're beginning to look increasingly at uh, acquiring uh, new technology solutions and, and digital transformation of their own businesses. The other area of real activity or the other driver of activity that we're seeing in European financial services is shareholder activism. Again, after many years of uh, it, it being considered likely to happen, it's landed with a vengeance. We're seeing both sides of that um, with activists looking to precipitate a transaction and banks feeling the need to investigate potential transactions and actually implementing them. We think that's going to continue. It's proved uh, fruitful for activists and uh, a real challenge for financial institutions to anticipate the sort of pressure they might come under, refine their strategy and often uh, take the proactive um, front foot approach. So as we look into the second half of the year, uh, things are looking very strong for financial services M&A in Europe. Number of drivers to that, we're seeing consolidation amongst challenger banks. We're seeing uh, market infrastructure looking to consolidate. Um, the presence of sponsors really adds to the number of auctions and number of players in the market and shareholder activism driving transactions on the, on the push side. So all in all, it's really looking very strong and we hope Financial Services M&A will represent a bigger share of a bigger pie as we go into 2019.